Similar to using a pole to determine whether an athlete has the flexibility to get into a squat shape, we can use the wall and the floor here to create an even more passive position. So Emmy's got her back flat to the ground, her butt close to the wall, and now I want her to bring her feet down to about the same distance apart where she squats. So she's about shoulder width apart, knees and toes are pointing the same direction. It's clear as day that she's definitely below parallel. And so this is good, she's got pretty good flexibility here. Now we can challenge this position by trying to bring the feet closer to the ground. The closer she can get the feet to the ground, this tells me that she's got flexibility to create a nice upright squat. Let's see if she can bring her feet even lower. You can use your hands if you want to. Ooh, there we go, not too shabby. Now, if the feet are far away from the floor, got more of a vertical shin, this is gonna simulate more like an immature squat where the chest is parallel to the ground and we don't want that. The good news is that she can get her heels to her butt. If she moves her butt away from the wall, so scoots away, scoots away, scoot away a little bit more, 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 more. Now you can see that she's definitely not below parallel. This is actually just about parallel. So those are a couple things that you can look at. The butt's distance from the wall is going to tell you how deep the athlete can squat, and the distance from the heels to the ground is gonna tell you how upright their squat is. This is also a really great position to determine whether or not the athlete has any imbalances. So Emmy's got an interesting situation going on here where this right foot is farther up than the left foot. So I might encourage her to try to bring the right foot down just to see if she can even it out. She probably didn't even notice that, but from watching it, I can see it. So this is a really interesting thing that you can observe. You can see whether or not that one knee can turn out more than the other, whether one foot is closer than the ground or another. And so that's gonna help you pinpoint where you should direct your attention for developing more flexibility. The next thing we can assess from this position is the overhead squat. So if Emmy puts her hands over her head, you're gonna notice that her ribs are gonna flare out as she brings her hands closer to the ground. So this is something that we're working on for her. She's got some inflexibility in the shoulders, but this is how you can tell. If I put my hand underneath her rib cage here, underneath her low back, there's some space under there. Can you bring your low back to the ground? Squish my hand. More, 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 more. You see that her hands come up off the ground. So now we know, <laughs> it's done. Um, now we know that we have some opportunity to, to improve her overhead squat and it's not related to the hips or the squat itself.